All right, in this video, we're given an equation. Uh, it's an ellipse, and uh, we need to move this ellipse into the standard form of ellipse. So um, I'm going to start off by uh, moving the x's uh, together and then the y's together. All right, so uh, we're going to have 4, whoops, we don't want that in blue. We're going to have 4x squared minus 24x. Okay, keep that in parentheses. And then I've got plus. 9y squared plus 126y. Keep that in parentheses. Um, and then I also want to get rid of this 153. So let's go ahead and subtract that from both sides. So then we're left with everything equaling a negative 153. Okay, now our next step is you'll notice that we have uh, numbers in front of the x squared and then in front of the y squared and we want to get rid of those so uh, let's get rid of it by factoring them out so we're going to divide out of 4 we're left with x squared minus 6x okay, plus uh, take out a 9 here so factor out 9 we're left with uh, y squared plus 14 y and then that all equals still the negative 153 now we want to start completing the square so uh, we're going to take uh, our b term here which is in front of the x and then also in front of the y um, divide them both by 2 and square it so I'll do that over on the, the right side here negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 and then I take that negative 3 and square it which gives me 9 so that's what I did with that. Now I'm also going to do the same thing with this positive 14. So take 14 divided by 2. We're going to get 7. And then I take 7, square that, which gives me 49. So um, now I got to go to my next step. And I want to actually add in these two amounts that I could eventually factor this part in parentheses as well as this part in parentheses. So uh, let's rewrite things. We got a 4 times x squared minus 6x, and then I'm going to add in that 9. So I got plus 9 plus this 9, and then y squared plus 14y, and then I add in my 49 equals. to be a negative 153. All right, now because I added in 9 over here, I also have to add something in over here. Now, normally we would say, okay, if I added 9 to the left side, I got to add 9 to the to the right side. But actually, we didn't just add in 9 here. We, we added in 9 in the parentheses, but remember we're multiplying that 9 by a 4. So actually, we added in a 36. Okay, so we want to add 36 to this side and then the same thing with this 49 yeah we added 49 to the part in parentheses but we're multiplying everything in the parentheses by a 9 so actually we uh, actually we added in 9 times 49 which is a positive 441 okay um, so let's get rid of this small little mark I wrote here um, and we can factor everything so we've got 4 times uh, this ends up factoring to be x minus 3 squared plus 9. All of this ends up factoring to be y plus 7 squared. And that all equals negative 153 plus 36 plus 441 is 324. And then uh, lastly, um, we need to set this equal to 1. So we want to divide this 324 by itself so that we get 1. That means we also have to divide this side by 324. And this gets divided by 324. And then it's just a matter of reducing everything. OK. Um, 4 over 324 ends up being 1 over 81.
because 324 divided by 4 is 81. Then we've got plus 9 over 324 ends up being 1 over 36 because uh, 9 divided by or 9 divided into 324 is 36 and then of course this all equals 1 and this is going to be our final answer okay um, actually you know if you want to call out um, your uh, your H that's going to be positive 3 just for the heck of it here our K is going to be a negative 7 um, a squared is always the larger of these two denominators so that means that a squared is going to equal 81 so then the a has to be 9 because if you square 9 that's going to give you 81 and then b squared is always the smaller of the two denominators so what do you have to square to get b well that's going to be is 6. 6 squared gives us 36. And then uh, you could use this stuff to find all like the foci, um, vertices, covertices, you could graph and, and all that stuff. But that's it.